All right, this is a nighttime job, and uh, it's going to be more difficult, of course, being at night. Uh, but because I did this kind of the other day, anyway, during the day, the muscle, muscle memory is there. Right, so what's wrong with my car? I knackered the uh, injectors up by putting the magnets, I think. And uh, it was running poorly, but now it's running really poorly. You can't even drive, it would just conk itself out. So maybe the injectors are on the way out anyway. So this just reminds you, this is a Mondeo uh, Mark III 2003 Estate 2 litre turbo TDCI turbo. Um, so diesel. Uh, 130 brake horsepower. So there was a question. How can I get the... Um, someone asked, how can I get the... Uh, DS the Maxi Dash DS 708 to actually check the injectors. Now we'll come to that in a second, but let's crank it up. Let's hear how bad it sounds. I only mean, run it for a few days, so now look, it's cranking up. I'm putting a lot of gas in there. So it's, it's really rough. It's hardly staying even. It's going to conk out. Right. So, next thing, I'll, use, I'll hook up the scan tool. Got my, I have got my foot on the accelerator to stop it from stalling. Start a new session. All others, I think this is version. I can't remember, a few years old already, this, um, the memory um, data bank in here. So it does need an upgrade, but it costs quite a bit to upgrade it. You get that per year. And, it, and where, what I've got will do for the vehicles I've got at the moment, so no rush. It takes a while. I shall cut to the chase in a minute. It will just go through all the VIN checks and things like that, so that's, that's pretty much bog standard. Let's go for auto scan, I think. So it'll take a while. Right, so with about my foot uh, giving extra fuel for a long time, it was it just sounds like one of the cylinders are gone, you know, it weren't running, but now because it's warmed up, it's still not running well, but still sounds like the cylinder is misfiring. Uh, the thing is, because it's hot, it just keep going, that's what it is. So page down, the full. Power train, this is the audio, I don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, recodes, we come out with some, I don't know, CT, something to do with code. You might even cut out on me any second, actually. Yeah, P1000, it's just says so not really tested or something stupid, it doesn't really matter that well. Um, Alright, so, live data. Hopefully I'm going to show you a bit where the injectors auto adjust and you'll see that the um, you see it's just in the crap. If I was to pull away it would just gone up. It feels really bad, it's waving, wavy, wavy kind of. So live data. No, I don't really want that one. Let me select that. Pedal precision. No, the other one. B C. Firing order is uh, um, uh, the injectors are in firing order, if I remember rightly. So it's a good thing to really know. If it was right now, there's no point in me trying to install the, uh, new injectors, right? Or re recon injectors or spare injectors. See that one there? Pure injector. D. Now these are these are where the, 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 the fuel offset is changing all the time. This is correct for the rest of them. Should be changing all the time, but look at that one there, look at D. It's just stuck there, isn't it? Annoyingly stuck there, like there's something wrong, like it one one injector has just given up the ghost. That is what but then you know what I can't try and put the D which one is D? D is the uh, last in the firing order. But then I go and test it again, it switches to B and then A, so 
I had to, I've got to change all four. I know I screwed something up a bit majorly. So, and also, don't forget there was that wiring hider in this that kind of snapped off. But I don't see how, because I plugged that back in. When I pull one out, right, when I pull one of the wiring harnesses off uh, uh, the sensor, it completely just conks out. There's no readings here, so that means it is connected. It's not that, I think, uh, but one of the injectors. So here's that. If you want to have a look, let's go. I will compare this later on when I put the uh, other injectors in. One of the things we will need to do, key key things we need to do, is to um, write down the new injectors information and cross out the old injectors. I could. I could do this, fuel injector correction factors, and it'll just say, oh, I'm going to re, um, redo the injectors, make it forget all the correction value, and there's no point. It'll just run even worse, right? So you, there's a, it's two options that you can do, two options, nothing to do, two options, right? So next job, the car's kind of warmed up. Now, I don't know, I can't, I can't remember if that makes it easier to take off, or certainly is warmer to take off the injectors. But we'll do that job. And uh, should we make it a short video? Because I ain't got a lot of battery in this. Yeah. If you want to see how I took it off, look to the previous video. But remember, I'm going to write down the information on the injectors. It's the, the particular firing order. I will mention it on the last bit when I film this. My battery's running out. But I will remember the fire. I will remind you of the firing order. But I'll write it in. The firing order, and we'll put it into into the machine in firing order, because that's the other option. The one I just went to, I didn't go to. That's when I'm going to use the uh, injector information each one. So I'm going to write the in injectors down first. Right. So the firing order for the injectors is one, three, four. All the injector details are down. So the firing order is one, three, four, two. Injector one, uh, firing cylinder one, cylinder three, next and cylinder four, cylinder two. Now I've done it in numerical order, so um, so DC is um, first, and D four because it's new numbers, D, D followed by number. Then the next uh, cylinder goes number four is two eight, and then lastly six C. That's why I've done it. So this is why it's going to be inputted into the scan tool. All right. The way you install them is make sure you label your injectors as well so you don't get confused. And uh, you install them. The first one to fire is number one, so that goes in there. This second one, the second firing was number three. Make sure the D for three are in my case it goes in the cylinder three, and the two eight uh, goes in the cylinder four. And uh, Lastly, the last one to fire in numerical is 6C, they're going to cylinder 2. So, correspondingly, here are the injectors. Now, I do need to treat them now. And my thinking is don't take them apart, then screw up again. Use that little hole at the top, see it? Not the, not the top, top hole. Not that one, because I can't get anything in there, I've not tried. But this hole here. This whole area where the fuel return goes. This is um, carburetor cleaner. Carburetor cleaner. Oh, I don't want. I, don't, I mean, it's tempting to dip this stuff in the solvent, but I don't think it'll work because uh, you might get some bits flowing back into the hole, and I don't want that. So you know, you could dip it overnight, and I'm being thoroughly screw up. So I want things coming out. So I'm just going to fill this in. Fill, fill in the holes. I will kind of just, I will just, um, I will try the top, I don't mind doing that. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put too much emphasis on this. So going in the overfill hole. Notice it's coming out, I think, properly. Oh, look, see? Bringing out the soot. And we want the soot coming out, we don't want it drifting back in. So I might, as I'm bit taking everything apart, I might periodically, see that? That's all we want, that's all we need. It's very strong stuff, I mean you never get this if you install a new car. The opportunity to do this, right? It's a carburetor clean, it's going to clean outwards, inside out. You don't want it cleaning it from 
upside in because we're going to get crappy. Look at that. Good idea? Probably just superficially do the outer, but outside a bit. Yeah, I don't know if you do it. It's probably best to leave it hanging. So, uh, I don't really want to clamp them. Could do. Could do. Let me just clamp. Well, this is DS708 again. Um, all wool installed. Uh, flaming egg. Cylinder one. Uh, cylinder one's injector flaming dropped on the floor as I clamped it. Um, went straight down. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what an idiot. Never mind. But I sprayed um, spray carburetor cleaner through the top of it where the uh, fuel excess is. It went straight down and uh, you know, there was holes in it. It wasn't blocked because it fell or anything like that. Uh, so it cleaned it out like that and uh, reinstalled it. Waited it dried a bit, dripped it dry. Reinstalled them in the right order. So this is my old 4, mega, four gigabyte card. So I haven't got a lot of them on there. So we're going to do, we're going to install the injector values in now, right? Then. So go to the control unit. Remember, each different car will have different sets of uh, things you can do. PCM powertrain control module. Wrong thing. Uh, special function. Uh... This service is fuel injector correction by factors. So it's going to want me to set it off to install the injectors manually. You never know, you might even pick it up. Who knows? I can hear something going on that's not normally going on. Do that. So I haven't actually run the engine yet with the new injectors in because I didn't think it, it just probably won't recognise it. We'll see, we'll see what happens, I don't know. Maybe it knows it. There's a new set of injectors in. Who knows? Who knows how these things think, eh? I'm going to guess at it. So doing it in real time now. I've got all my values written down, very important. Farming orders one, three, four, two, and I'll then put them in exactly the order that I've seen them in the book. I'll bring them down. Increase weight. Okay, there. Up again. So the data value for each injecting final injector body consists of 16 characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 16, yes, I heard it's a long number. I'll say okay to that. Do not continue unless you have. Firing order, not cylinder order. Okay. So this is this is the old values, right? Totally non-cool. So we need to inconveniently the battery cut out and uh didn't get a chance to start it up it. Anyway, so I inputted the thing, pressed the OK button, they went, are you sure it's this, the injector's this, so yes. And uh, went through some switching on and off, on and off kind of thing, pumping it up, whatever. And uh, cranked it up, and whereas before, it took a while to crank up, wouldn't work. Cranked up pretty much second, two, three seconds there, bang, straight on, no stalling, nothing. And uh, so, the same process I went through earlier. This is the, the injectors varying, right? So look at them, we're all switching around, this is how it should be. Plus there, and take off there, plus there, take off there. All right, so I'm hoping this is a fix, and I'm hoping my going, you know, the injectors are foot wearing out, wearing out, and uh, going uphill on, say, uh, the original problem is going uphill on cruise control, it just used to just cut off, right? So the injectors on the way out. I don't know which ones are busted, so I'm just, I'm just going to chuck them away. I'm not even worth keeping them. Probably, yeah. Probably, I don't know. Don't know. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, so the the varying the injectors are varying, and it sounds normal. 
uh, I should run it. If there's any problem, I'm going to film it while I'm running, but I'll run it around court on a block and uh, if there's any problem when I upload it, I should say, oh my god, there's a fourth video. Well, I hope this third and third time lucky kind of thing. Yeah. Alright, thanks for uh, watching. I hope this helps. Um, you, if you've got similar problems, it could be your injectors that need changing, but you do need a tool like this. The, what is this one? The uh, DS708 Pro. Um, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Is it Maxi Das or Hotel? Hotel, I think it is. Not Maxi Das, I can't remember. Hotel. Alright, okay. Thanks for watching. But, uh, hit the thumbs up if you're not already a subscriber. Please think about uh, if you can subscribe to me. Really do appreciate it. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you for being a loyal subscriber. And uh, please share and uh, be your friends. And um, thanks for watching. Um, inconveniently, the battery cut out and uh, didn't get a chance to start up it. Anyway, so I imported the thing, pressed the OK button, they went, Are you sure it's this? The injectors are this? Yes. And uh, went through some switching on and off, on and off kind of thing, pumping it up, whatever. And uh, cranked it up, and whereas before it took a while to crank up, wouldn't work, cranked up pretty much second two three seconds there bang straight on no stalling nothing and uh, so the same process I went through earlier this is the the injectors varying right so look him all switching around this is how it should be plus there and take off there plus there take off there all right so I'm hoping this is a fix and I'm hoping my going you know the injectors are foot wearing out wearing out and uh, going uphill on say uh, the original problem is going uphill on cruise control just just, just cut off right so the injectors on the way out I don't know which ones are busted so I'm just, I'm just gonna chuck them away and not even worth keeping them probably yeah pro I don't know don't know we'll, we'll see anyway so they're, they're varying the injectors are varying and it sounds normal Uh, I should run it. If there's any problem, I'm going to film it while I'm running, but I'll run it around a court on a block and uh, If there's any problem when I upload it, I should say, oh my god, there's a fourth video. Well, I hope this third and third time lucky kind of thing. Yeah. All right, thanks for uh, watching. I hope this helps um, You if you've got similar problems. It could be your injectors that need changing, but you do need a tool like this. The, was this one the uh, DS708 Pro? Um, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Is it Maxi Das or Hotel? Hotel, I think it is. Not Maxi Das, I can't remember. Hotel. Alright, okay. Thanks for watching. But, uh, hit the thumbs up if you're not already a subscriber. Please think about uh, if you can subscribe to me. Really do appreciate it. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you for being a loyal subscriber. And uh, please share and uh, be your friends. And um, thanks for watching.